Now, oh boy, my friends, we have got some pretty spicy news to talk about today. And look at it. At long last, the era of bots is over. Complete shutdown. And you might read this and go, wait a minute. Ain't it has finally shut down all the bots? Well, not quite here, right? This is definitely a very good thing for the game. I think it will have some interesting consequences, by the way. Um, maybe to the economy, maybe to PP, but essentially what's going on here, and, and look, is it, this, you, you can't make this stuff up, guys. The bots in Guild Wars 2, the creator of the bot, is shutting down the bot service. Why? Well, because they claim that it is no longer profitable enough. Because yeah, here's the Reddit post, right? Talking about this. They actually don't... They, I think they, there was some evidence posted down below um, about this. Uh, but they actually didn't link it in the post. But that's okay. Because I have it right here. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. As you may have already noticed, we have removed the ability to purchase keys and add-ons for Guild Wars 2 products. This is, by the way, from a bot hack Discord. Uh, and this is the developer, the lead developer uh, who makes a few of these uh, MMO bots, speaking here directly uh, to the botting community, just for a bit of context there. In reality, everything in business comes down to revenue. And Guild Wars 2M simply doesn't have the revenue to sustain itself logistically. Sadly, with the upcoming expansion coming in Final Fantasy, we simply do not have the resource to put towards, uh, you know, this project any longer. So, oh, dude, I, I, dude, it's so funny the way they talk about this. It's been an awesome rise. Yes, we love botting in games. Yes, bots. It's so much fun, right? It, what it was, and it's actually what it has become, is incredible. We thank all the devs who put thousands of hours into their add-ons to give you guys an amazing product. Honestly, it wouldn't mid what it is without them. You're actually going to have to play World vs. World in PvP now, guys. Oh my god, the horror. We thank you, the users, for helping build a great community. <laughs> And even some lasting friendships. I personally always smiled, okay, when I saw the back call guess when there were Guild Wars 2 updates. Like, it's actually like another world. But here's the big one. This is the, the funniest shit ever, dude, okay? Final Fantasy, okay? Everyone goes like, oh, oh, dude, oh, I would never play Final Fantasy. Terrible game. Oh, yeah, tap target. Everyone always shit talks it. But Final Fantasy is taking one for the team, my friends. Okay, because, right, the upcoming expansion in Final Fantasy Endwalker means that the bots are all being diverted to Final Fantasy instead, as you can see here. Okay, <laughs> we will offer any unused keys a free exchange for equal time in Final Fantasy Endwalker, okay, up until January 1st, 2022. Final Fantasy, we really appreciate that. They're in deep, they're here, they're bringing the energy, guys, okay? They're giving us the, uh, the, the freedom from the bots. Now, this is actually a pretty interesting statement here because I, I, I actually, I'm not entirely sure if I believe this. Um, because I don't know if you guys recall this with the Twitch, do you guys remember the Twitch Viewbot scandal? When that came out, um, the the view bots all got shut down um, for a while, but it wasn't because they didn't have money. It's because like Twitch was coming after them. I almost feel like this guy actually thinks the jig is up. Um, now we don't know if Anet has been doing anything, like you know, developing tools. But I almost feel like what they're saying here is that something has happened that would cause this to no longer be profitable or no longer be viable as a product, right? Like maybe Anet's changing the game so it's harder to do. They think that Anet will in the future because I actually don't trust this. I think botting in Guild Wars 2 is very profitable, actually. I'd be amazed if it wasn't. People do it all the time. Guild Wars 2 is very grindy. Gold is very important. You can use bots for RMT very effectively. I'm very tempted to actually think, think and say that this is maybe the developers getting a little wise right to this. Wouldn't 14 be the game who'd do that first? Maybe, but maybe they aren't, right? Um, maybe they aren't doing that very well because I know there are bots in that game and obviously they'll have their own issue. Maybe it's easier to bot there. Maybe because it's a tab target game, it's harder to detect, right? And it's easier to make a bot that isn't detectable there. Maybe Arena really is going hard. I mean, I don't think we can necessarily... Um, make any big assumption about this. I'm not saying that my theory there is correct, but I wouldn't rule that out because I'm not entirely sure if I believe this because, um, again, it's the population, but that isn't true. We know it isn't the population. 
We know we absolutely know it isn't because we can maybe get a screenshot of this on the video and this when I upload this to YouTube actually. But Grouch was in chat earlier saying that this has actually been a good year for Guild Wars 2 and this is nothing to do with the population decline as in fact the population has increased in Guild Wars 2, not declined. That to me suggests that this narrative is maybe not quite there. Maybe Final Fantasy is more lucrative. And to be fair, Final Fantasy is definitely a lot more lucrative. It's a bigger game than Guild Wars 2. But why cut Guild Wars 2 in that case, right? Um, you know, I imagine that maintain this obviously does require effort. And it does require effort from the developers. But, hmm... Interesting here. Very interesting statement here. Um, maybe ArenaNet will eventually clarify this. They they have actually taken measures against botting and hacking. Um, I think something that's really telling. If we see a decrease in hacking, or maybe an absence of hackers afterwards, that would strongly imply that ArenaNet has actually looked at some of these um, abuse of the system. It has looked at... Uh, you know, the company that is, say, it, right, uh, has looked at hacking and any kind of third-party software and better detection there. They've kind of had a few updates there as well. Could be interesting. If hacking doesn't decline, then, yeah, maybe it just is, like, just business. That's that's possible. But I I, I don't know. I, I almost want to be a little bit optimistic. You know, we, we you know, bear in mind, guys, there was a forum post a while ago with Anet saying that, yeah, they're actively looking into hacking and botting and, you know, use of third-party programs for automated gameplay and uh, to cheat in the video game. They actually said this a while ago. Okay, just bear that in mind. So, I think this is a really good news. You know, a really good piece of news. I mean... I, I'm actually going to say this, guys. This is great news because bots are a really bad look and they obviously frustrate people. But, guys, there will actually be some negatives from this. I think match quality in PvP will actually get worse, right? Uh, no joke. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, and I'll just show the post here. This was a while ago, so take a look here. What Anet said um, a while ago. You can see this, right? Game security enforcement. I want to address a few topics and broadly, blah, 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 right? So, um, you know, every report of hacking is seen reviewed by our operating team. Honestly, that's very ambitious, but there you go. But yeah, they've actually, again, like this is a few months ago. When was this? This is January 4th, yeah. So, like half, you know, nearly a year ago, I guess. But yeah, they are absolutely going in on this, right? They are looking to go for this and they are focusing on dealing with some of these issues. And hey, you know, these things do take time. They absolutely do. So, could this be the payoff? Actually possible. I could see it, right? I really could. But I absolutely would bear in mind here that match quality in PvP might be worse. Because now, instead of bots being matched up with silver players, uh, now silver players are probably going to get matched with higher rated players a fair bit of the time, right? Which... It may, may not be great, okay? Um, so watch out for that one. I'm super curious if the economy is going to change. I don't think it will. You know, a lot of people might expect that certain crafting materials are going to inflate, but I'm not sure if enough people were botting to actually impact the Guild Wars 2 economy. Now, that might sound like copium, but um, I think the Guild Wars 2 economy is insanely robust, actually. Uh, we saw it recently with the uh, the Teeth Knot saga, with the Mystic Coin fiasco and the uh, Blood Legion keys, right, from Grothmar, um, Grothmar Valley, right, Grothmar Wardowns, rather, and nothing happened. Yeah, like, maybe a few things will, like, drop, uh, you know, prices are going to go up a little bit. Temporary spike on some gathering materials, because one thing that the bots would do, right, is the bots would actually uh, use... Uh, teleport hacks to teleport around gathering underneath the map with teleport hacks very, very quickly. Potentially, um, when these bots shut down, I guess they're still technically running right now. But, um, yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. Like, maybe we will actually see a, a statement from ArenaNet about this, potentially. I mean, the, the problem with this, and this is where ArenaNet's in a really tough spot. It's very hard for them to actually be seen to do anything because the problem is, is that there is an arms race, right, between the company and the hackers and the botters, right? Because the botters make things that evade the ban mechanism and the devs have to catch up at ArenaNet, right? So if ArenaNet say, we did this, they have to be very vague, right? They have to say, oh yeah, we, we did it, guys. Like, we action stuff, right? We did stuff. Because if they go any further than that and say what they did, then great, you've just basically told people exactly how to get around it, right? With the, uh, you know, with, with, you know, a slightly better bot that isn't susceptible to this detection method, uh, for example, that ArenaNet has come up with. So it's hard to get communication from them talking about this issue. But I've got to say, right, you know, um, 
I'd love to see it. I think the bots were a really bad look for the game, specifically in PvP and World vs. World, by the way. They were maybe a little bit less noticeable in World vs. World, but there were a lot of bots in World vs. World. I'd encounter them nearly every day when I'd be roaming around at night, just leeching World vs. World, or, you know, or just like playing the game. You see a good amount of bots. Like they'd play like Minion Man to speed hack Scourge. It's quite terrifying, actually. They'll they rush at you really, really quickly with all the minions. It's pretty terrifying stuff. Um, but there you go. Better go for the source near yours. You're absolutely right. Well, I mean, hey, Grouch is saying there's no surprises there, right? Um, but, I, you know, but, um, yeah, you know, obviously, you know, banning individuals is, is obviously really good. And if people do get banned, it can discourage people from using the service, right? Because, oh, you know, you're going to get banned, so it's not even worth using it, right? But that's kind of where Guild Wars 2 with free-to-play comes in, right? Like, the game being free-to-play actually kind of bites it in the ass because... And this is why I need to go after the source, because the game is free to play. Um, this means that if you ban someone, well, unless they're a complete imbecile, they were using a free to play account and they were using it with a VPN, right? And this means that, oh, great, you banned a completely nameless, faceless person that's got nothing to do with the main account, right? Great. Um, and bear in mind, this is also a double hit tier two, guys, because do you know uh, bots and RMT are inherently linked? A real money trading RMT, for those who are unaware. Basically selling gold um, for real money, right? Or, or an item for real money. And how do you think all that gold gets farmed to then sell? Well, bots, right? And in fact, um, here's a fun one. A, a lot of people probably won't know this. They actually nerfed the rewards from the Coden strike mission because bots were actually farming the strike mission um, very, very quickly. There was around, 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 and generating huge amounts of revenue. It happened in Fractals too, by the way. Fractals were getting farmed by bots. Strike missions are getting farmed by bots. But Arena, they do catch on, right? They will catch you eventually, you know? Oh, we saw this group of the same 10 people did 100 strike missions in like two hours. Hmm, I wonder what could be going on there, right? Well, that's a little, uh, little suspicious right there. So, yeah, a great, this is a big win. This is a big, big win for Arena here. A slightly accidental one, but again, it's very difficult to tell how much of a hand Arena had. I mean, look, I will say this now, and to be clear, I do not have inside information. This is not confirmed, so like, don't, start posting this anywhere as like oh the you know the absolute unadulterated truth i wouldn't be surprised if either anet was poking around trying to fix it with in-game restrictions and stuff like that trying to counter these bots um or potentially you know these guys think oh anet's onto it anet are onto us right they're actually going to try and hunt us down they're going to transfer us as like yeah i can't be bothered to kind of keep up with that i don't want to have this kind of war having to constantly patch us and work with this wouldn't be surprised if there was more to this than just we aren't making enough money because i'd be very surprised if this bot in Guild Wars 2 wasn't profitable, okay? Very surprised indeed. Because again, it's a grindy game. It's a game where farming is very important and gold is essential for almost everywhere. There's definitely demand for this. And you even have stuff like World vs. World, like, you know, bots also, again, high demand there because people don't really like doing Gift of Battle and like doing like the really long grind for, you know, for the World vs. World, like Diamond Chest, stuff like that, to get the legendaries. I'd be surprised. And of course, PvP is very lucrative too particularly in the mini seasons if you're botting. But I think now that it's more obvious because the, you know, stuff like PvP population is down, so the bots get exposed a lot more. I think there's more to this than meets the eye there um, as well. But yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Pretty damn interesting stuff there as well. So it's finally happened. The era of the robot is over, my friends. It is over. Now, it is bear in mind, it is worth noting that this is only a uh, one bot program, so other people might have a crack at it, um, making their own implementation. But, um, you know, it's funny, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I actually know exactly what program this is because I actually did a bit of undercover operation um, a while ago, guys, um, with bots to get some kind of details on how they work. I learned loads of really interesting things, actually. Like, some of the bots actually mount up without having the mount unlocked. That's a really good way to detect them, uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I did a bit of undercover ops. I know exactly what program this is, and believe me, it's a lot, right? Okay, it is a big, big bot operation, believe me, guys. So, um, that is a heavy blow to the bot community and the bot population in the game. Now, hey, we no longer have an excuse. Let's try and actually get this going, right? Let's get, um, you know, let's get this going and try and, you know, hopefully revitalize PvP there a little bit and get people actually playing the game. Love to see it. Uh, having bots around is never good. Oh, yeah, that's uh, additionally, yeah, that other bot, the reason why this is such a big deal, by the way, guys, um, is because 
that bot also bots every other game, right? Like that specific game has a, it has a name, right? And it's Guild Wars 2 X, right? Final Fantasy X, WoW X, even Hearthstone, funnily enough, it, it, it does Hearthstone too. Um, uh, and yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on there with this particular product. Um, so yeah, it's, this is a serious blow. But yeah, sadly, no 5v5 bot. Uh, action there as well. Yeah, the bot community sounds like a lot of fun. I think anything with the community is fun, but it's important to understand and yeah, maybe they had some fun and they absolutely, um, you know, maybe, you know, had a bunch of friends there who were also botting, but ultimately the behavior is destructive to the game, right? Uh, and it doesn't make the game better by having bots in the game, so it is a good thing that they have been removed. But yeah, there you go. I absolutely love to see that. I love to see it. Bots are done! Maybe.